Hello boys and girls. I hope you are enjoying yourselves at home with your brothers and sisters and your parents. Now, have you ever imagined being told to do something that you did not like? Or maybe for sure you are told by your friends to do something that was not very good or that was wrong, but you decided to do the right thing. Now, in our story today, we are going to see some four young men who decided to do something right even when they were told to do something wrong. Once upon a time, in a country called Israel, we called them the children of Israel. The children of Israel, as a nation, were captured and they were taken captives. To be taken captives is to be removed from your country and you are taken to another country like slaves. And when you go there, you cannot do what you want to do. You can only do what the people of that country want you to do. Now, the children of Israel had been captured by the nation of Babylon. And when they went to Babylon, the king looked at some four young men. He saw that they were very strong, very nice, and even he saw they were very wise. Who are these young boys? They were called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and another one called Daniel. So the king took them and gave them to one of the officials. And this official was told, make sure these four young men will be taken care of very well, they will be fed very well, so that they can be stronger and healthier. Now, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Daniel had names that represented names of God. But now you know what happened? When they went there, those names were changed. They were given other names. What did the people of Babylon wanted them to do? They wanted them to forget about their God, to forget about their country, to forget about their culture, and start doing things of their country. But these people, they knew, even if their names were changed, they cannot forget God. They knew they will always do the right things that God wanted them to do. They also knew one thing, that God loved them. He will take care of them, he will protect them. You know even us, God loves us so much. He cares for us. I know like this time, maybe we are scared because we are at home. We are not in school, we are not going to church, and maybe you feel like things are not very good. But you know what? God loves you. God cares for you. Why? Because God is love. He loves us so much. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God loves us with an everlasting love. Even now, wherever we are, God still loves us. He cares for us. He is still protecting us. Even from that funny disease, that bad disease that is making us not to go to school, that coronavirus, imagine God is taking care of you. He is protecting you from it. God took care of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Even when their names were changed, they did not also forget God. What did they do? They went and obeyed the king stayed there. And even when they were there, they were brought the food and they were told, now you'll be eating this food, you'll be dressing like this, you'll be talking like this. You know what happened? One of them called Daniel looked at that food and remembered what they had been taught in their country, that there are some things that they should not do. 
he decided, ah, 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 I have to obey. I cannot do what I'm not supposed to do. Do we obey all the things? Do we do what we are supposed to do? Or do we sometimes disobey? When we disobey, that is sin. Sin is anything that you do, you say, or you think that does not make God happy. When we disobey our teachers, we are doing sin. When we are disobeying our parents, we are sinning. When we are disobeying the people we live with at home, we are doing wrong and we do not make God happy. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego decided to obey God rather than obeying the king. But what did they do? Daniel went and told the chief official of the king, you know what, please kindly, we cannot eat this. Would you please give us some vegetables and water? We will be okay. But you know what? The officials was not very comfortable. So they said, just give us vegetables and water. And then, after seven days, you come and test us and see how we will be. So, the officials wrote their names and gave them a place to go and stay. And even after that, he agreed to give them vegetables and water. They did not eat those other foods that were not making them comfortable. They decided to obey. They ate and continued and continued. They did the right thing. The officials was looking at the food and was wondering, gosh, how will it be? He was worried. But you know what? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and Daniel knew their God and they believed that God was with them. You know, when we believe in Jesus and we do the right thing, God will always be with us. He will protect us. He will take care of us. You know, God from the word go, from the beginning, he has always taken care of us. And that's why he has allowed Jesus to come and live with us. When we give our lives to Jesus, he takes care of us. He shows us the way to live. He can never leave us, nor forsake us. That is what the Bible says. What does it tell us? It tells us that I will never leave you, I will never forsake you, because that is our Jesus, that is our God. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Daniel, they knew that God will never leave them, he will not forsake them. So what happened? They continued obeying God. And you know what? After seven days, they went back to the officials. The officials looked at them. The chief official went and looked at them. He tested them, and after testing, you know what happened? They were even better, healthier, and more fine than even the others. Do you think it was only because of vegetables? No, it was because God was with them, and God took care of them. When they honored God, God decided to honor them. He helped them with their health. You know what? When we honor God, when we love God, when we do what God wants, God will also honor us, take care of us, and will always protect us. Boys and girls, when you do the right thing, even at home, even in school, even when people are not looking at you, God will always protect you. He will always take care of you. He will honor you. Will you decide to obey God? Will you decide to give your love to Jesus? Your life depends on God. When you give your life to Jesus, he comes and takes care of you. Shall we pray? Lord God, we want to thank you because you are such a wonderful God. Thank you that you took care of the four men who decided to honor you and obey you. We want to pray that you help us to honor you 
even when we are supposed to be doing what our friends are telling us, and maybe there are things that do not please you. But help us to do the things that, we, that will please you, even when it looks like it is impossible. Thank you because you love us. Take care of us even now when we are at home and away from school, even when we are with other boys and girls. Protect us from all the evil things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.